In this video, we'll be examining how to use PyMall to generate VRML2 files for use in Blender and Moleprint 3D. Keep in mind there are several different versions of PyMall. In this case, we're using an open source version of PyMall that's included with this Linux distribution. There are also incentive builds of PyMall, as well as an educational version available from Schrodinger. The educational version does not allow export of VRML2 files, therefore you should either use an open source version or the incentive build. To begin with, we need to open a file in PyMall. And in this case, I'm going to use a simple ATP molecule which I've downloaded from the Protein Databank. Now in this representation, this is what's considered a line representation, and what we need is a ball and stick representation in order to have this be solid for 3D printing. Now on the Moldprint 3D GitHub site, there are a number of settings for a variety of molecular visualization programs. And in this case, here are some ball and stick settings for PyMall. And what we're going to do in this case is just take these and then paste them into PyMall. And this will set everything to the ball and stick representation. Now keep in mind, there, there are many things that could be altered with this. These are sort of just baseline settings that you can begin with. If I put this in and just hit enter, we now have a ball and stick model of this ATP. All we have to do now is we need to export this as a VR, VRML file. So here we can go save image as VRML2, and then we can save this wherever we'd like, and we'll just call this ATP. And at this point, we're done with PyMall. Like all sessions in Moleprint 3D with Blender, the first thing we're going to do is import that VRML file. In this case, this, we save this in our downloads directory, and here's our ATP molecule. The first thing that we'll do is clean the scene. This will get rid of all of these split bonds as well as remove additional objects. You can see some of these bonds now have turned gray. And we're going to split the molecule up in sort of a simple way using our grouping. So we're automatically have colored grouping selected here. So we'll split this up as like this so that we have three groups, each of them colored differently. In this case, we're going to do something slightly different and we'll use square pins in this case, as well as increasing the relative size of the pin to the bond that it's on so that we get a slightly thicker pin when we're pin when we're going to be printing this. Now we just click pin and join. And we now have three objects that have square pins and oops, square holes right here. And we can go ahead and go through and do our standard floor all. So try to place the molecules as best as possible on the printer build plate. And then simply export all the models. And then we can scale and print in our favorite slicer program. 